Nursing home workers are accused of performing a simulated lap dance on a resident in a wrongful death lawsuit, and a facility temporarily lays off entire staff after a sprinkler system rupture forces closure. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, January 15th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A family is accusing a New Jersey-based nursing home worker of performing a, quote, simulated lap dance on a former resident in a wrongful death lawsuit despite regulators finding the allegations unobstantiated. The lawsuit was filed in state superior court in late December by the family of Fred Pittman, an 84-year-old former resident of the Cumberland Manor Nursing and Rehabilitation Centers in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Administrator Steve Brott said that the complaints of the family have been investigated by regulators and found to be unobstantiated, and they would defend any lit litigation as appropriate. The wrongful death lawsuit accuses the facility of negligence and abuse, including an alleged incident where a staff member performed a simulated lap dance that deprived Pittman of his resident rights. The family claims the facility's negligence is what resulted in Pittman's death. Pittman stayed at the facility between January and February 2018 and later died in March of that year. The family is seeking a judgment for compensatory damages, punitive damages, and legal costs, the court documents show. More than 130 nursing home workers will be left without a job temporarily after a sprinkler malfunction caused flooding throughout the facility and forced residents to relocate. Leaders for the Wesley Gardens Nursing Home, a 200-bed facility in Rochester, New York, said employees will have their jobs back during mid-March, with residents returning late March. The temporary layoff stems from a sprinkler malfunction that happened at the facility in mid-December and caused flooding in several parts of the building. The flooding caused an estimated $500,000 to $1 million worth of damages. The facility was forced to relocate more than 100 residents to area nursing homes. The facility is working with the New York Department of Health to fix the malfunction and return residents and staff to the building. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.